Hello, welcome to my organizational behavior um, week four video journal for Colorado Christian University. Uh, this week we were asked to come up with a uh, team building exercise that addresses some certain issues. First I'm going to go through and answer some questions here and before I run down the team building exercise. Um, I, I will note that this exercise could be done the same virtually as it could in, in person. Uh, so there really won't need to be any modifications in either scenario as we've been asked to address both. Um, the purpose is to teach team members how to recognize poor performance and good performance and to motivate members to perform well. Um, the size and demographic of the teams will be 5 to 10 members. And they should be uh, diverse in, in demographics. And they should specifically be uh, teams of several different positions that would all work together on one project. Um, but several teams, at, at least two, a minimum of two teams would be necessary for this model. Um, they would It would uh, work well with a new or a seasoned team. It would also work well with or without established trust in these groups. Um, should performance issues be addressed first? No, that won't be necessary as they will be addressed during the activity. Um, the activity is going to involve some role playing. Uh, so that will, uh, ad address some of the issues without calling any specific people out, uh, for real behaviors. It's going to be modeled in a role playing manner. Um, uh, how would I make it valuable and worth the team's time? Um, well, they can see um, how different performance issues impact results, but also they're going to be competing for prizes uh, to kind of motivate them and uh, pique their interest. Um, the outcome should be that the team members learn how their interactions affect other team members and productivity throughout the organization. It should also reinforce good behavior and hopefully motivate better performance as well as promoting interpersonal relationships and teamwork through fun and games and competition. So the idea is pretty much this, that um, each team is given a fake project um, that, that takes no time really to put together. Um, each team member is given a position they are to play or a role they are to fill on that team, which may or may not be their normal role actually on a team. They're, they're going to be headed out randomly. And then they're going to be given a, um, a, uh, a predetermined, uh, performance, um, in other words, they may it may be predetermined that they perform poorly or perform well so that they can accomplish their job on the team successfully or unsuccessfully. Then what happens is, is as these teams compete, the team each each time one team will be set up for success, while another will be set up with some poor performing member or members that prohibit success. And then as we're kind of keeping score between teams, each time we'll discuss why each team member didn't succeed or why each team didn't succeed and then what members caused that. And then we'll talk to each team member and then get a description of the performance that they were, you know, the, the description of how they were told to perform and expected to perform and why their team didn't succeed. So that people can see what actions benefit the team and hurt the team. Then for a last activity, a real mini project will be given to each team. This time they will not be told how to perform and each member will fill their normal role on the team and the teams will actually be competing for real prizes. Now, each team that successfully completes their project will receive prizes their members will receive prizes but the better prizes will be given to the team that completes their project more successfully and there will be certain criteria set out to evaluate that 
Now, to continue this model and to continue to motivate good behavior and reinforce good behavior, what we'll do is we'll take a random project, one random project throughout the month from each team that they won't know until the end of the month afterwards, uh, which project was the project that was had been selected and prizes would be handed out for if performance met the right criteria and if they were successful with that project. So um, randomly each month, one project, if successful, receives prizes for the team that completes their project the best. And uh, that's my idea. Thank you and God bless.